let's quickly look at a key technique for IELTS listening and that is using the breaks to read ahead. There will be breaks in the recording where you've got time to read and those breaks will be before each section starts, in the middle of each section except in section 4, there's no break in the middle of that one, and at the end of each section. When you get those breaks, that's your reading time to prepare the, the questions that are coming next. Don't look back, don't check what you've just done, that's a waste of time, always read ahead. Okay, let's go on to section two now. In section two, use all of the break time at the end of section one, of course, to prepare for this. You're going to hear one speaker only in section two. And this speaker will give a short speech about a non-academic topic like tourism, a park, some local facilities. You'll hear this speaker speaking and you'll have to do a gap fill or maybe some multiple choice questions or maybe some matching about what the speaker says. There's a break in the middle of section two so you'll only have to pre prepare maybe five questions at a time and Section 2 is still quite easy, so I recommend that you aim for a high score. Practice Section 2 a lot until you become good at it before you worry too much about Sections 3 and 4. Let's move on to Section 3 now. In this section, use the breaks. Use the break at the end of Section 2, of course, and the break in the middle to read ahead and underline keywords that you might think you should listen for. You'll hear two or three speakers, probably two main speakers and maybe even a third could be, for example, a teacher with two students. So this is a little bit more academic. They're supposed to be talking about academic topics here. A conversation related to education or training, for example, a tutor with a student. There'll be a gap fill or multiple choice. And the multiple choice questions in this section can become quite difficult. If you get a multiple choice question, this is where you really need to use the breaks to read ahead and underline keywords in the questions and in the choices that you're given. But remember, when you're listening later in the recording, you're going to listen for keywords or synonyms. That means you might not hear the exact words that are given in the question. You might hear a similar word. So, for example, if the question contains the word lesson, don't be surprised if you don't hear the word lesson in the recording. You might hear the word tutorial or seminar instead of the word lesson. So be aware that you're underlining keywords in the questions and choices but you might not hear those exact words, you might hear synonyms. That's important, especially in sections three and four. So this is a difficult section, so you might only aim for six or seven correct answers in this part. If you've done very well in sections one or two, one and two, you can make mistakes here. And it's the same in section four. Let's